Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM on your Droid Bionic using Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, first you will have to have a rooted Droid Bionic and also Bootstrap and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, go to my site droidbionicroot.com. And once you've done that, um, you, you need an external SD card um, connected and uh, connect as USB mass storage and let's go download your favorite ROM and copy it over so let's go to our computer real quick so today I'm going to be installing the Unleash, Unleashed uh, 3D ROM uh, most ROM files come in a zip file you don't have to do anything just leave it there and you're going to copy it over um, to your external SD card not the one with the MOT that's your internal so I'm going to copy it over to my removal disk here which is my actual external SD card or the micro SD card on my Droid Bionic and when this copies over um, we're gonna reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and install it. Uh, you can also copy or download the ROM straightly onto your phone um, but I don't re recommend that route because uh, the downloads on the phone is a lot slower I just like doing it this way it's more easier for me and faster so I'll be back when this copy is over. Hi all folks, so copying the ROM is over. So let's go back to our phone. Now we're going to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery by running Bionic Bootstrap and Reboot Recovery. Hi all folks, so I've rebooted into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And uh, by the way, this will erase all your apps and settings. Um, I'll have another video on how to back up with Titanium Manager uh, if you want to wait for that. Um, so I'll have links below also when that's updated. Uh, first, you'll want to do wipe data factory reset. Hit the power button and say yes. Delete all user data. Hit the power button. And um, it should take like three seconds. It doesn't actually take that long. Um, one, two, three. Okay, maybe it's taking a little bit longer. I'll be back when this is done. Hi well, folks, that actually took like a whole minute. Um, anyway, go down to install zip from SD card, hit the power button, and go uh, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button, and choose the zip, the ROM zip file you copied over. For me, it's the unleashed um, sign update.zip. Hit the power button, and then say yes. Hit the power button, and then uh, it will start installing. Um, should, this should take like five minutes, so just leave it and come back, and uh, I'll be back while this installs. Hi, right, folks. So it's done. So hit it up and go back, and uh, reboot system now. Hit back. So it's booting up. Um, let's see if this ROM has a custom boot animation. Usually, most ROMs do. So it should come up in a second. If not, it's fine too. So that's the boot animation for the Unleashed 3D ROM I did. Um, I get something different here. There we go. So that's the boot animation change. And I'll be back when this completely boots up. The first time it boots up, um, you want, might want to leave it alone for like a couple minutes. And also you might want to do a reboot. Usually when you install a new ROM, it can take a little bit longer than uh, your usual boot. So I'll be back. Hi all folks, so uh, my ROM booted up um, and I got the screen again. I'm going to go sign in and uh, show you that this that's how you install a new ROM. So there you have it. I have a new ROM um, installed. You can go to settings, uh, about phone, and it will show you your current ROM version and the kernel. Um, you can see it's Unleash 3D uh, build number. Kernel is I think, I'm not sure if that's custom. I think that's uh, stock kernel. Anyway, that's how you install a new ROM. Um, don't forget to check out more tips, hacks on a, at the, my site, droidbionicroot.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my email list um, because you'll be alerted first when I upload videos and all the new guides. Anyway, thanks, y'all, and don't forget to subscribe. See y'all later.